Hey, I'm Elsa and today I'm going to talk about this many back to school bullet journal spreads. I'm only saying this many because I actually haven't counted yet, but I have a long list here in my bullet journal. I also have a video on general bullet journal spread ideas, which I'll link, I believe, up there just in case you want to see more. But for now, let's get right into it. Also, just quickly, I'm a university student, so lots of these spreads have university or college in mind, but I think most of these are good for any type of student. So I always think you need somewhere to put important dates. This can be a semester overview or a future log. I like to put it in my future log and then into my monthly spreads. I think it's so important to have somewhere where you can see all the months and all the dates. So you know when you're reading weeks, when your term ends, deadlines, everything like that. So you can see them as far in advance as possible. Something that is so important to me is having a timetable. So in my bullet journal where I write my academic notes, I like to have a timetable for the semester at the very beginning. In particular, I love having a color coded timetable where each subject is a different color. I also like to do mine by the hour, but if your lectures, lessons, tutorials, tutorials, class times are different, you can do these by half an hour intervals for example. I've seen tons of people schedule in study time as a different colour, or if you have a part time job for example, you could schedule that in. So this next thing isn't quite a spread, but I think it's super helpful for bullet journals, and I actually haven't been doing this, but going into September for the new academic year, I really want to do this. I have specific symbols for tasks, birthdays, events, but I want to start having a special symbol for deadlines. This is super useful because when you see this in your monthly or weekly setup or in your future log, you know it's an important deadline and you have to put work in beforehand to get it done. First is a master shopping list. I think this is super useful for anyone living alone, specifically university and college students. So this master list for me is basically if I could have all of these things in my fridge and pantry all at the same time, it would be my ideal kitchen. Every time I go shopping, I look at the list and I think, what don't I have? Also, when I like ingredients, I go back and add it to that. In the end, this leads to easier grocery shops, especially if you're doing online grocery shopping, because then you can just look at your list and type that in the search bar. Building on from this, I think meal planning is super important as a student. That way you're not wasting time in the kitchen so you can spend time doing other things. But also, if you're stuck in class, especially right before lunch, you can look forward to what you're having instead of having to think of something. But as well as looking forward to stuff, you also have to think less. You can make sure your meals are varied and are getting the right nutrition. And another spread that helps with those past two spreads is a meal idea spread. This is basically a master list of all my favorite meals. So when I'm meal planning, I can go back to that list. But also for my ideal shopping list, I can look at the ingredients I need for my favorite meals. This next spread is a study tracker. So personally for my mood tracker, I do a line graph and I think it would be super interesting to add other things into that line graph. So in this case for back to school, tracking your study hours. It's also so helpful to have all the contact details of your tutors, professors, teachers, all in one place. So what I would do is I'd fill in the name of the module or class and then you could fill in information about them, especially their email if you need to get in contact with them. You may also want to do a module outline list. So I don't know about you, but at the beginning of my modules, I often get a list of topics that we're doing each week. You could put this at the start of your notes so you always know what you're going to study that week or you could put it in your monthly spread or semester overview. I haven't done one of these yet but I kind of want to. A readings tracker could be super important. This is super useful if you have coursework in sixth form for example and there's a certain amount of books you need to finish. Or for me in university I have a certain amount of readings I need to do every week. So even just a checklist or some sort of thing where you can track or check off your readings is super important to keep track of it. Also, if you're getting ahead or catching up on what's behind, it's good to know which reading you need to discuss in each class, especially for university. I love including mind maps in my bullet journal. This is both in my academic journal where I take notes and in my bullet journal to plan out ideas. This is great for projects, essays and discussions and I particularly like it because it's really easy to add to and to visually see your ideas. This one is pretty simple but I think it's so important for going back to school and that's to-do lists. This way you can tick off things you've completed, add things for the next day, look at chores, tasks, readings, all of that. And I like to include these in the daily part of my weekly setup. I think a budget tracker is a great idea for students, especially if you're on some sort of loan or student finance. This way you have a set amount and you can plan out your allowance for each month or week. So again, you can see how quickly you're getting through it and where you spend the most money. Having a vocab list or a glossary somewhere in your notes is super, super helpful. In university, if you're studying one main subject or in A-levels or high school, where you're studying many subjects, it's super useful to keep track of what terms mean. This way, every time you hear a word in class or you see it in a reading, you can flip to your glossary and write it in. If you've just learned the definition, you can write that there, or if it's a specialized word that you'll have to remember, you can always write that in, or you can even write it in and then go back to it later to add the definition, so that's something for you to do after class. I think something that's really nice that you can include in a weekly or goal spread is sort of rewards for your work. 
So when I finish this, I will. For example, if you have a big essay coming up, when I finish this essay, I will take myself out to dinner. Or when I present this project, I'll buy this new top. And it's also where you can get rewards and validation without just letter or number grades. Something that I'm doing at the moment is a back to school shopping list. This way it's just one master list of everything you need to get and you can bring this to the shops with you and take off stuff as soon as you get it. This next spread you can include as part of your shopping list or you could do this as a completely different spread. This spread is super important for people moving away from home and that is a packing list. So what you could do is add an extra column to your shopping list. So one column for the product, one column for bought and then one column for packed. That way when you're heading off to university, college, boarding school, wherever you're going, you know you have everything with you. This next spread can be included in a weekly spread or just in your notes, but I think it is super important, especially for university. So I don't really have a title for this, but basically you need someone to write down when things happen. And this is particularly important for compensation. So for example, in university we had so many strikes and then we had maintenance issues, everything like that. So you just need someone where you can write down this date, this happened. So for example, in March, my shower broke and I reported that to maintenance and I wrote down when that happened. Or when we had strikes, you could write down each class you missed because at the end, when we had to get compensation, we had to go back and check through our timetable to prove that we deserve the money. So it's super useful to have stuff like that already written out. Another spread you could do, which I think would be super useful, is a master list of essay tips. So this could be near your glossary, something you just flip to at the back of your book. So this is basically for every time you get an essay tip, whether it's from meetings, class, tutors, lectures, uh, referencing style, or feedback from your other essays, you could write these tips all in one list. So when you're writing an essay, you can look over those things and you know what to do better. This isn't quite a spread, but I think it is super important for motivation and wanting to study. It's having nice lettering and nice notes. So you can practice your lettering, you can practice having nice titles, even practice your handwriting. Even just handwriting your notes, over time your handwriting gets so much better, or at least mine did. But this is so good for study motivation and also if you want to do nice lettering or highlighting, you could do colour coding with your subjects that then matches up with a colour coded timetable for example. But I think it's just so nice and makes you want to study more. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did. And I also have a question for you. I would love to know what content you guys want to see, so please comment that down below. I have a bunch of stuff planned, but I really want to make videos that you guys want to see. So again, yeah, thank you so much for watching.